In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways to change the font size in your site. One is through the customizer that every theme has, and one is through the options in a page builder. Hopefully one of those options helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you've not done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started on this one. How you update font size in a theme usually falls into two categories. One is in the theme customizer options, and the second is in whatever page builder the website was built with. So it depends on how your site is built. I'll show you both methods in this tutorial. First, let's check out the customizer. The customizer is something that comes with every theme you download these days, at least any theme that's any good. So right now, if I go to appearance and themes, I have activated the Astra theme, which is a great theme. I use this theme extensively. I have a whole tutorial series on the Astra theme, how it works, all the features it has. If you want to check that out, it's in the card up above and the description down below. And we see right here a blue customize button. You can also get there under appearance and customize over here. And if we click on it, it takes us into what's called the customizer, where we can now adjust a lot of things, including the size of the font. So to get to the font, generally, we go to something called global and we'll see something called typography. This might be on the top layer as well. It might be listed on the, on the main menus, or it could be hidden under a different menu, but you want to find something called typography. And under here is where you'll be able to change font sizes. In this case, for base typography and for headings, two separate options. Click on any one of these. We have the font family as the default system font. We can change it to whatever we want. Let's say Verdana, and we see instantly, not instantly, but after a second, the fonts change. And we have a font size right here. If I bump this up, we see the font size changing. That's how easy that is. Now if I go back, go to headings, this applies specifically to just the headings. The other font size we've changed applies to all the non-heading fonts. So the headings are the titles of posts or pages, the titles of widgets on the right hand side, and we can change their font size right here for heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, heading five and heading six. Generally, the most important headings on the page, like the post title is a heading one, everything else is a heading two, and then you may have heading threes and other ones on the post, but they're not as common as heading one and two. And then when you adjust these heading sizes, you'll see the changes reflected on the right-hand side preview. And that's how we adjust headings inside the customizer. When you're done, make sure you click on publish to save your changes, click on the X to exit, and if you have a page builder installed, like say Elementor, which is the most popular page builder right now, you may have pages built in Elementor and the font size changes you do in the customizer do not change the font sizes in a page builder, in any page builder, including Elementor. So if I go to a page created by Elementor, I don't think I have any right, oh, I do right here. So if I go to this one, go to edit with Elementor, we see we have content on the page, including headings and text, and we can click into any one of these go to style, go to typography, click on the pencil, and increase the size, just like that. You can drag and drop it, you can enter numbers here, and that's how we change the font size in a page builder. There's also global styles in most page builders. In Elementor, we get to the global styles by going to the hamburger menu, and then we can choose global fonts and typography down here. Let's go, go with global fonts first. And here we have primary headline, secondary headline, body text, and accent text. Click on the pencil on any one of these, and you can change all the options globally throughout all your site with these options in here. You can also add more styles and assign them to specific areas that you want. That may be a little more advanced if you just want to change the font sizes. This is how you change the font size on all Elementor pages. Go to body text and change the size to something else. Adding new styles is probably a little more advanced than you need if you want to just change the font sizes. And that's how you change them, either individually or globally using those options. And that's a page builder called Elementor. You may have a different page builder, but it will function similarly. So hopefully those two options help you change the font size on your site. And next up is checking out this WordPress beginner playlist right here, which is full of beginner tutorials, helping you get a great foundation in WordPress so you can build something awesome on top of that great foundation that you learn in that playlist. So make sure you check that out. If you've not done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.